I've been using a cheap pocket digital weighing scale so far for all my experiments. I lately felt the need for a much more sensitive but affordable balance that could measure in terms of milligrams, but it has to be digital in order to save weighing time. In this video, I'll be unboxing an electronic multi-purpose weighing scale that I recently bought online from a website called atomscales.in. The website sells it as a jewelry scale with a model name Atom A107. The weighing balance has a load range of between 300 grams and 0.001 grams and was sold for Indian rupees 8,999. So that's a pretty decent load range for the price. It also comes with a 6 months warranty and a 7 days no questions asked return and full refund policy. My home address pin code was also stated on the website as qualified for free delivery so I immediately fell for it and placed an order for one unit. However, a day after placing the order I received a message from the seller telling me to shell out an extra 750 rupees for shipping because Apparently, the seller claimed that their partner courier service, that is DTDC, was charging a much higher than normal shipping cost for my address PIN code because my address was, quote, in a remote part of India, end quote. This immediately raised a red flag. But my home lab was already in dire need of a budget electronic balance that's sensitive enough for most lab weighing operations. So I was left with no other choice but to negotiate with the seller and hope to somehow eliminate or at least bring down the extra shipping costs demanded by the seller. This is in fact the first time in my life the need arose to actually negotiate and bargain over an item sold on an e-commerce platform. That was not a very professional move on the part of the seller. So with a finally agreed upon extra shipping cost of rupees 500, the seller shipped the product using a different local courier other than DTDC. This raised another red flag but I was kind of tired of negotiating and just wanted the weighing scale shipped soon. The good part was that the shipment arrived in just two days at the courier office. The bad news however was that I had to travel 70 kilometers to get my package because that particular courier had no branch office in my home address pin code. At this point, I was just happy at least the product arrived safe and in one piece. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. The package came packed with an outer nylon mesh bag. And within this bag was the cartoon box with digital scale printed on the sides. A box within a box. This one has an electronic balance printed on it. So far no mention of the model name that is A107 anywhere in these boxes which is kind of weird. Here is the user instruction manual and the product receipt. And finally we get a glimpse of the thermocall packaging that holds the weighing scale inside. The weighing pan, the power adapter and the standard 200 gram weight for calibration are all packed on the outside of the thermocall box. See that I'm handling the weight using the plastic ziplock bag and not with bare hands because even fingerprints can distort the actual weight of the metal block. As we open the thermocall box, we finally have the weighing scale inside, further packed in a loose plastic bag.
it has a nice and clean finish to it. The sliding glass doors are a bit rough to open and close though. We place the wing pan in position. I'm just gonna tilt the device a bit to show you the leveling screws underneath. These four screws are used to level the balance in a perfectly horizontal plane. You can also see the maximum and minimum holding capacities printed on the front right above the LCD screen. So this is the unboxing of my new digital weighing scale from atomscales.in. We now come to the second part of this video which is a first hand review and use experience of this weighing machine. So stay tuned. The first thing that clearly caught my attention was the missing brand logo which according to the product images is supposed to be found right next to the LCD screen, here. And neither is the model name A107 printed anywhere on this device. The complete absence of these important identifying marks is clear indication that this is a generic weighing scale and we all know where generic stuffs originate from. Moving on, here is the power port at the back. And here is the liquid leveling gauge which I'll come to a bit later. And here's the weighing pan rest onto which the weighing pad sits perfectly. A close up of the power adapter. In order for a digital weighing scale of this level of sensitivity to be operated, the device has to be in a perfectly horizontal level. We achieve this leveling using the liquid leveling gauge usually located behind the weighing scale. In this regard, the unit that I received has a huge manufacturing defect. The leveling gauge slopes on one side as you can see here. As a result, a huge gap is left behind on one corner, so much so that even the tip of this needle fits snugly into the gap, while there's no gap on the other corner. The consequence of this manufacturing flaw is that the leveling gauge is practically useless for leveling the entire machine. So I had to make use of a different leveling gauge that I bought later to level the machine. If I were to go with the inbuilt leveling gauge on this machine, this is how the weighing scale would stand. I'm not sure if it's visible in the video, but the entire weighing scale is clearly and extremely inclined on one side, so much so that even one of the leveling screws almost entirely got unscrewed from its place. To demonstrate how inclined the weighing scale is after apparently leveling it, I'm just gonna put a free rolling object on top of the balance. As you can see, it rolls along the incline every time. Anyways, let's move on with the review. The weighing scale is now perfectly leveled on a horizontal plane using an external separately bought leveling gauge. We now turn the power on and allow the machine to warm up for 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been about half an hour and as a brand new product straight out of the box, I thought it would be a good idea to calibrate the device before doing anything else with it. So going by what the calibration instruction says, we first press the cal button on an empty weighing pan. And when 200 grams blinks on the screen, we place the 200 gram standard calibration weight onto the weighing pan. The screen eventually stops blinking and if it remains at 200 grams, 
That means the device has been calibrated. We now remove the weight. Now that the device has been calibrated, let's see how it performs. We place a weighing container such as a petri dish onto the weighing pan. We press the tear button. Okay, so the button is not very responsive. Once the balance has been teared, we add the substance to be weighed. We now carefully close the weighing chamber and leave it for several seconds to allow the chamber to stabilize. And let's find out how much the values fluctuate. Okay, that's quite impressive. We now remove the petri dish. How much ever value is displayed on the negative side is the approximate weight of the empty petri dish. We set the device back to zero by pressing the tear button. And again, the buttons are annoyingly quite unresponsive. This device, like many other digital weighing scales, also includes a dedicated button for piece counting operations. To use this function on the device, we simply press the PCS button and the number 10 starts blinking in the screen. Now we place exactly 10 counts of the item that we would want to count. We then close the weighing chamber and allow it to stabilize and then press the PCS button again. Once the blinking stops, we carefully open the chamber, remove the items completely and then proceed with counting the same items according to our choice. So this is all about the unboxing and primary review after 6 days of usage of this so-called Atom brand A107 model digital weighing scale which is clearly a generic weighing scale. If you like this video and found it helpful as a purchasing guide, do subscribe to my channel for more such related content. Thanks for watching.